Have you heard of some people who own their home that are renting their properties on short-term rental platforms? On today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how you can put your home on Airbnb and potentially increase your revenue. But before we do, make sure you guys subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Hey everyone, my name is Jorge Contreras and I have grown my Airbnb empire to over six figures a month fully on autopilot. Turning your home into an Airbnb can be a great way to exponentially grow your passive income, but there's a few things that you must know before getting started. Look, chances are that you can make a higher passive income than you currently are from your long-term tenants, but I wanna share with you two softwares that you can use in order to determine what the potential revenue is. That first software is Mash Advisor and MashVisor will look at the performance of existing Airbnbs in your area, and based on the data of over the last 12 months, you can then determine if it actually makes sense or doesn't make sense to convert your property into a short-term rental. Now, the great thing about MashVisor is you can put in a zip code, you can put in a property address, or you can just you know go by location or neighborhood, and you're gonna be able to look at the revenue, the occupancy of all Airbnbs in the US except Puerto Rico. So imagine you have a property that's three bedrooms, two bathrooms, 1,500 square feet, maybe it's got a pool, and let's say you're three miles from downtown Dallas, and you notice that there's two other properties in the area that are comparable in bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage, amenities, and location. And let's say those two properties are averaging about $6,000 a month. And previously, you were renting your property to a long-term tenant for, say, $3,000 a month. That is all the data you need to validate that you can double what you were making from a long-term rental. The second tool you can use is AirDNA. Now, the biggest difference between AirDNA and MashVisor is MashVisor the data is based on actual results, whereas AirDNA gives you a projected revenue based on comparable properties that are already on the Airbnb platforms. Here's the truth. Running a short-term rental business is definitely gonna require more work, right? You gotta plan and communicate with the cleaners in regards to when they're cleaning the property. There's gonna be more maintenance because there's gonna be more turnaround, people going in and out of the property. And of course, it's going to require communications before, during, and after with each and every guest. But what I will tell you is that the juice will be worth the squeeze. Not only that, but if you start to automate and delegate some of these tasks, some of these operations, then you can truly make this a passive income business because one of the mistakes that a lot of homeowners make when they jump into Airbnb is they start doing all the work themselves. They might start cleaning it, they might start doing the maintenance and even doing the communications. They end up just creating another nine to five. Now, personally, I have 18 short-term rentals right now. And even though I have 18, which sounds like a lot of work, I only spend like 30 minutes a week. And you might say, Jorge, how is that even possible? Well, that's because I hired a manager who manages the cleaners, the people who do maintenance, and those who do communications in all of the cities that I'm operating in. So because I delegated, I'm able to work on the business and not in the business. Remember, there's only three operations in the business to be able to delegate. Somebody to clean, somebody to do maintenance when needed, and someone to do communications. If you are ready to start making passive income with Airbnb in your property, make sure you guys smash the like button as it truly helps the algorithm here on my YouTube channel. By you hitting that like button, it tells YouTube that it's a great video and that more people should watch it. So thank you in advance. One thing that you definitely want to automate that is super tedious but important is the actual cleaning calendar. Now, I used to communicate the calendar on a daily basis and I realized that I was just creating another nine to five for myself. So what I started to do is I simply gave co-hosting access to my cleaning person and all that means is they can now see the cleaning calendar just like I would. So now I don't have to communicate when to clean and when to not clean. They see exactly what I see. The final tip I will give you is to utilize Slack as a communications platform. Create a Slack 
channel, like a workplace, give it a name, and then for each property, create a channel. So maybe for your first property, you title it 123 Main Street, and inside of that channel, you're gonna have the cleaner, the person who does maintenance, and then yourself, unless you have someone else that's doing communications, and then the manager, once you eventually hire a manager, unless you're doing it yourself, and then of course, yourself in the channel as well. And by the way guys, there's a link in the description down below where you can actually set up a free 15 minute consultation with my team to see if we can help you build a 10K a month automated Airbnb business with or without owning real estate. And before you guys go anywhere, make sure you guys check out one of my other videos here in the channel. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you on the next one.